Okay, welcome to the Bookmap webinar. Uh, we're going to go through the um, order flow. Whoops, hold on just a minute here. We're going to go through the order flow uh, in Bookmap, look at the live markets, and uh, get your questions in. Um, and we'll cover very specific uh, new features uh, for anyone. Uh, I think uh, sending out a reminder to uh, uh, some traders uh, yesterday wanted me to go over something which I, I can't recall at the moment. Um, and um, uh, yeah, and we'll, we'll cover that. All right. So risk disclaimer, trading futures involves, involves substantial risk of loss is not suitable for all investors. Past performance is not indicative of future results. Uh, find out more about Bookmap at bookmap.com. Uh, become a member there. You get a um, access to free resources, uh, and uh, reach out to us at support at veloxpro.com with any issues. All right, uh, so let me show that here. Um, first off, uh, this is where you can find Bookmap if you want to give it a try and download it. Uh, market replay. Uh, yeah, I can go over that, Fritz. I'll have to go over it at the end of the um, uh, webinar, but uh, I can also show you, um, I can do that, um, but I'm also going to input into chat uh, links to a few um, uh, videos on YouTube that go through that in, uh, in pretty good detail. All right. Um, so uh, yeah, it's a really great feature. Uh, very, very powerful for all sorts of reasons, practicing, uh, trying new strategies, uh, checking out new features, uh, debriefing your trading. Uh, you can record not only the data, but your, your uh, trades. Uh, and if you're uh, algo-based, you want to see exactly where you're getting filled and, and uh, uh, how your orders are behaving. It's all, it's all there. It's all recorded. Uh, and then there's a unique way that we'll go through on how to uh, learn order flow really quickly. All right, so that that'll be good to go over. We haven't gone over that in a long time. Okay, uh, Bookmap 6.0, uh, lots of new features, uh, and um, uh, you can give it a 14-day trial period uh, with any of these versions here. There's the basic, the advanced, and basic lifetime. Uh, you can see the uh, basic for 49 per month, and advanced is 99 per month. They are billed quarterly. Uh, and the, the big difference between the two are the add-ons here and the ability to trade from the chart. All right. Now, with the basic for lifetime, you get the one-time lifetime fee, uh, but you don't get all of these add-ons. Okay, but you can still get them if you uh, subscribe to the advanced uh, or add-on package, and that's fifty dollars a month. Okay, so you have a lot more flexibility with that uh, that basic lifetime because you can uh, uh, subscribe every month, or if after one month it you know you don't want it, um, then just uh, uh, unsubscribe from it. Okay, uh, quants and prop shops, uh, reach out to us here and we'll be happy to work with you. Uh, let's go to some of the resources here, okay, under the education tab. Uh, this is where you'll find all the videos uh, and, and more. Um, so uh, the recorded webinars are under this link here. You click on this and it will take you to the YouTube playlist, okay. And um, uh, here you can see yesterday's as well, okay, and uh, all, all week long here. All right. These have been long um, webinars, uh, just trying to cover in detail uh, and answer all your questions regarding the uh, uh, new features. Um, let's see, what else? Uh, ah, we have, uh, I need to make it live actually, and maybe I'll do that right now. Uh, hold on just a second. Um, new video. All right, and th there's these video snippets, and I covered it yesterday, very concise two to three minute videos that cover very important order flow uh, in Bookmap. Uh, and I showed you one yesterday, uh, for example, um, this one here, the algo buying activity. Uh, I'm gonna put this into the chat for you again. And um, we just saw it yesterday, uh, again, you know, in Bookmap. And let's, uh, let's take a quick review. Uh, this is where we saw it. It was uh, it was right in this area here, right? It gave a quite a good signal. We were just looking for a test of uh, 86 uh, around this area, around some of these highs up here and high liquidity. Uh, and um, uh, you you could see how powerful that was. We saw the accumulation, 
uh, in, with an algo, and you wouldn't see that in other programs. Uh, Bookmap is, is pretty unique in the way that it showed that. Right? So in the chat, watch that video uh, because you can see this kind of activity uh, happen all the time. Uh, and um, uh, start to understand, engage what's going on here. Look at all this aggressive buying here, but with small size, but accumulating their position over a period of time. Uh, that's what led to this really nice breakout. All right, so um, uh, anyway, uh, that's that. Um, and uh, let me make this new one uh, live here, just, just a second, uh, and I will, uh, I'll do this for you. Uh, so I want to give this link to you guys because it's about flipping of the book, uh, and uh, it goes through it very concisely. All right. So hold on just a moment. It is here. Okay. Okay. And I will make it live right now and I will put it into two different folders uh, there we go and uh, let's publish this all right okay so here's a, a new link to a new video snippet okay it's in the chat now as well uh, and it goes through uh, flipping of the book all right, and um, let me show you. Uh, hold on, just a minute. Okay, let me show you uh, what that uh, what I'm covering here. Right. Okay, it it happens in this area here, and uh, we're looking for we're looking for uh, a zone here. And then uh, uh, high liquidity here on the uh, on the bid, but they pull as price is coming down toward it. And what was on the bid flips over to the offer, uh, and uh, and traps the uh, the traders uh, on the other side. So uh, this is a disruptive practice. Uh, and uh, anyway, um, yeah, take a look at that, and uh, hope you enjoy it, and hope you find it find it helpful. All right. Um, and uh, okay, that covers the uh, the video snippets. Uh, and uh, and the recorded webinars. Uh, let's see. Follow us on Twitter uh, as well here, and do get the most up-to-date information about what's going on in Bookmap. All right. Okay. So let's take a look today. What do we see today? Uh, we're looking. Uh, we'll go through our process, looking at the macro view, uh, and then the microstructure in Bookmap, and then drill down into the order flow in Bookmap uh, to give us really uh, concise uh, understanding of what's going on. All right, going through this uh, will allow us uh, to pinpoint entries, exits, and trade management. All right, and then we'll get into the process of how to very objectively read the order flow. So let's take a look at our higher time frame. Now we had CPI data this morning, uh, and uh, not good. Uh, and you can see that we've dropped down. It was at 8:30 though. It actually went to the upside, uh, and um, nice, nice trend line here. Uh, you can see, right? Yeah, just right up into that area. All right, and uh, and then we uh, have uh, have fallen right back down to the lows of the overnight session here, and and found more buyers. Okay, more buyers are stepping right back in. Okay, so that's on a 15-minute chart. Let's go down to a five. And uh, yeah, I'm kind of curious right where price is right now because you can see the drop here. Uh, there's going to be a, a high volume node in this area here. Uh, and I want to see if we accept or reject or uh, what the order flow is right now. Uh, so we'll look at that. And then we have the uh, lows uh, as well as the, the highs here and, and uh, uh, some of these areas between 90 and 91 and a half or so. Okay. All right. Uh, there's uh, something else I want to go over uh, with you guys, and uh, there's a poll. Uh, if you guys can take part in, that'd be that'd be great. Um, let's see here. Let's launch it. Okay, can you guys see that? And uh, 
let's see. The uh, the question uh, is, uh, let's see, which new features would you like to see in Bookmap? And and you can choose up to three. All right. So we continue to develop, and uh, and a lot of the um, development, you know, comes from uh, your input. Uh, a lot of people are requesting certain things, and and we're doing it. So uh, uh, let us know. Uh, this is uh, uh, great, great stuff uh, to uh, uh, get um, uh, get back from you, uh, and uh, and understand um, uh, what it is you're looking for exactly. All right. So. Uh, I'll give you a, a few more moments here. And uh, yeah, it's looking, uh, looking pretty good. All right, some more people, if you can uh, just uh, input your votes, that'd be, uh, that'd be helpful for us. All right. Okay. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Um, all right. Well, let's uh, let's leave it at that then. Uh, and it uh, looks like um, most popular ones were uh, algo that shows when uh, big traders take positions and uh, price absorption uh, indicator. Okay. All right. Cool. Thank you for that. Um, okay, so now let's uh, let's take a look at some of our, our levels here uh, and uh, what exactly we see. Our uh, eighty-seven and a half here that we're just testing, uh, and then those highs and lows. Okay, and uh, here's what it looks like in Bookmap. Okay, uh, here is our nine thirty open, and it yeah we got the initial drive down. Uh, well, initial small move to the upside, but uh, drive down retested uh, that little swing here. Uh, nice cluster of volume into this high level of liquidity here, uh, but then uh, uh, no follow through on that. We came back down and retested. This is actually looking, and just by reading the, the transactions uh, and um, uh, at the highs and lows here, this is actually looking really good for another extension to the upside at this point here. Uh, and we did not get it at all. So let's, let's zoom into this. Um, in fact, what happened uh, was uh, we got a retest back up into this area here uh, where a lot of volume traded. These, these guys that were going long in these areas here are trapped, no, no question. Uh, look how we come back up and test just, well, one tick into uh, some of that higher volume up here, and we never come back. All right, so uh, that that has been the... Uh, uh, the play here, uh, and uh, oh, you're still seeing the pull. Okay, I'm sorry, guys. Let me uh, let me end that. Close it. Okay. How's that now? Can you see my screen? Yeah. Okay. Good. Thanks, guys. Okay. All right. Well, here, here's what I'm talking about. Here's that 9:30. Um, a little move to the upside, and then we swing down, come back up, and, and break into a new high here. Nice cluster of volume, right, uh, between these two areas of high liquidity. And uh, and, and we get a, another swing down into uh, this area here. It looks like it, you know, it looks pretty good uh, to be able to um, uh, potentially uh, get maybe an extension back up. But uh, this is where uh, the cluster of, uh, of volume just, just below here, you know, we come back and retest that area, and then we just fall right back down and, and never come back, okay? And that's been the story so far, all right? Um, boy, uh, other than that, like, it's the volume's kind of on both sides here. I'm seeing exhaustion on both sides here, not getting a good reading until maybe here. Uh, that looks pretty good. This looks pretty good, though, up here as well. It could have gone both ways, uh, but uh, uh, we, have, we have a follow-through to the downside, and... You can see this is a flip of the book as well. It's less aggressive than the video I put into the uh, chat for you guys. Um, but um, because, uh, and why is that? Because here they are on the bid, but they and they kind of flip over to the other side, but they're up a few ticks higher, okay? So um, that's, uh, that's what I want to uh, 
a cover about that flip. So less aggressive, right? So you can see we don't continue to the downside like that. That gives us some insight uh, to this uh, this price activity. Okay, so we're coming right back up into the high volume node from all of this volume here. Uh, and you can see that in the volume columns here. And uh, so far, it, it's uh, sold right back down again. Okay. All right. So structurally, uh, that's what we have. We, we see the break here. We see the retest of the uh, uh, POC uh, right here. And uh, we did not accept above it. Right, came back, tested it, and fell right back down. Okay, so uh, that's what's going on in the uh, in kind of structure here that we see in Bookmap. Um, and um, uh, there's some other smaller details here. You can see this is where we broke from here. We've just come back down to test it again, and we're finding buyers in here again. So we might get that rotation back up now, uh, but we'll uh, we'll have to. Uh, uh, wait and see here. Let's let's get into some of the more details of the order flow. Okay, so what's going on here? Um, uh, the first is the question here in our process uh, is to understand the current configuration of the book. Where are the majority uh, participants? Okay, we want to know um, where that high liquidity is because the market needs liquidity to trade. Right? And then we want to ask the next question of how do they behave when price approaches them? And uh, let's take a look. Okay. Well, we can see here they were at 86 uh, and um, uh, traded into that area. Looks like some of it traded and some of it was pulled. Yeah, we can see we can see pulling here, but look at the you know there's a lot of aggressive volume trading in this area. Okay. And then, uh, and then we we uh, go a tick lower, and then uh, and bounce back up. All right. So uh, current configuration, uh, we can see the um, uh, buyers starting to come in here uh, around 85 and a quarter, and the sellers are up here at uh, 87 and three quarters and 88 in that zone here. Also more at 89 up here. Okay. That, in fact, that's the highest in the book. But let's make a distinction here. I mean, this is longer term liquidity, but it's very safe. It's very far away from current price. So it, we don't, we want to know when price approaches them, do they stay in the book, right? And that's when they'll really get tested. Uh, like in this area here, we saw them pulling, right? So uh, uh, that, that gives us the true intent of these traders at these price levels with their limit orders. All right, so... Um, Let's see. Uh, it was a question I think yesterday to go over the uh, uh, CVD uh, in some detail. Uh, so um, uh, if you guys have questions about that, I can I can uh, cover that with you. All right. Okay. Um, so uh, that's uh, that's what we read so far uh, in the um, uh, current order book uh, and um, in the auction and uh, how they're behaving on that auction. All right. The uh, the last uh, piece of the uh, order flow uh, is to understand where the transactions have taken place. It's traditional tape reading, and uh, that's what we'll look at here. Okay. And what we want to look at uh, is the flurries of activity, and uh, we want to understand um, uh, the aggressor, like who's who's in control uh, at some of these areas, and uh, or who's trapped. Right. Okay, we're getting our retest here. We were, I did mention it, we were looking for uh, a potential retest of here because of the uh, the breakout from this area. Return back to where we broke from, and then we got this nice cluster of volume up here. Right. Uh, now, uh, now we need to see some uh, more aggressive buying here. Right. Okay. Look at look at them getting aggressive on the bid here. Okay. And uh, now we want to see the green dots here. Uh, trade right right where we are right now. This is we need to see big green dots because this is where we exhausted previously right here at this uh, 87 and three quarters Okay, so uh, uh, We might need to uh, get another rotation here, uh, and then we'll see uh, if uh, uh, Those buyers are, are really uh, uh, You know if they're gonna uh, look for a pullback and a discount maybe around this this area here Okay around this 86 to 86 and a half area. 
all right and uh, if we see some uh, activity in there a charge back up maybe into this area uh, and then we might get the push into the 80 uh, 89 area all right or we could get it right now I mean um, you know S&P usually rotates another time or so uh, but uh, uh, this can all change in a in you know a flip of a flip of a coin I mean it just all, all of a sudden you, you're gonna get uh, you'll see large uh, uh, limit orders underneath and very aggressive buying you see these guys pull on the uh, on the offer and uh, will charge right up into 89 pretty quickly all right building some volume up here right so uh, that's a good sign so that's one of the scenarios that can uh, unfold here uh, the other scenario uh, is similar to uh, the open uh, over here this big cluster of volume which is basically trapped okay so uh, this volume here uh, you know if uh, all of a sudden the sellers get very very aggressive there's lack of buying up in these areas now uh, and uh, all of a sudden the uh, they get very aggressive with the uh, limit orders on the uh, offer and uh, really aggressive selling here uh, we're, we're gonna we're gonna pull price down and uh, next test is going to be down here uh, at this uh, 85 and uh, three quarters. All right. Uh, I don't see much li high liquidity here uh, yet. Uh, so uh, I'm just looking at uh, this. This is where we kind of exhausted out here. It's not true exhaustion, but you can see there's a lack of um, uh, less selling than some of the other areas. Okay. So a couple scenarios. Uh, and uh, we're just we're just going to see and uh, wait to uh, to get insight. Okay. All right. Well, anyway, that's the uh, the process. Uh, and um, uh, let's see. Uh, I think I will cover some of the features in the in the CVD, uh, and we'll take a look at that. All right. Okay, so aggressive buying. Uh, let's look at our CVD right now. I mean, you can see it's it's pulling up. Right, looks pretty good. I mean, it uh, uh, we came up and tested this area, but there's more volume here on the CVD at least uh, right now uh, in this little area here than previously. Right, then that that uh, bodes well for uh, uh, price discovery to the upside. Okay, does everyone understand that concept? more volume trading at these higher highs uh, and that that can lead to the price discovery to the upside all right now let's read this look look at this volume though I'm, I'm not really seeing it's looking pretty meager on the uh, uh, on the buy side right I mean look at look at our, our area here this is where we exhausted previously right and there was some some buying that's good lead up to it was good but now sellers are coming in on the other side and look at this little area here very little uh, aggressive buying right sellers can take charge now uh, and they can pull it down into the first test would be here uh, next test would be uh, I'd be curious to see if these guys start lining up again in 84 uh, to provide their liquidity uh, but really uh, the bigger picture uh, is uh, these guys down at 83 now that said uh, we need to note though that uh, uh, this high liquidity here 83 is outside of the current uh, live book okay and uh, uh, we need to know uh, when price starts to come down and uh, refreshes this area then we'll know if they're still here with 1300 contracts all right uh, let's see is there a way to automatically reset the volume uh, and bars in the SVP column every morning uh, yes there is uh, Michael a great question I haven't covered uh, these uh, res there's there's um, a lot of uh, resetting uh, uh, tools now uh, in the uh, data columns okay and the and what do I mean by data columns we don't do we don't show just volume I mean we can show the trades the the events that took place too uh, and uh, we can show the quotes uh, the uh, activity and, and flurries of uh, auctioning back and forth uh, with the quotes counter okay so there's these three are very similar in uh, their settings and um, uh, features but they're very different in their data type right um, 
Okay, Bruno, you want to go through CBD and how to build it? Sure, let, we can uh, we can do that. Uh, and I, yeah, I can go over some of the new enhancements in Bookmap 6.0. So that would be that would be good uh, a good direction to go. Let's cover though um, uh, Michael's question for the moment about some of the CBD, uh, or, uh, CVP, and SVP. So we'll right click in a column, all right, and um, uh, let's choose reset. So now you can you can see the different resetting uh, 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 features here. You can reset right now, uh, and it will just it will start from zero here, and this will all be gone. Right. So let's uh, let's let's do that. Okay. So there you go. And now now as soon as volume trades, then we start collecting data. Okay. I can just bring it back here. Uh, we don't lose that data. We just reset it. Right. Uh, all right, so let's uh, do another one, a reset uh, configuration, okay? So you can schedule a reset uh, for a very specific time. Click on this, select it, and you can reset it for every hour or minute or second uh, or uh, at a specific time, okay? Um, at, uh, uh, you know, a, a time of the day, okay? So at 9.30 a.m., for example, if you wanted to do that for the uh, S&P. Okay. Now, there's, this is a new feature in Bookmap 6.0 is the conditional reset. Okay. What this allows you to do, uh, you can see right away the distinction here. Um, it, it allows you to um, uh, reset the volume uh, counter um, if... Um, uh, price trades outside of a uh, a level or a zone. Okay, and this is getting really into you know very specific um, uh, price levels. Uh, but uh, what this uh, what we're looking for what what the conditional reset is is you want to study volume for a very specific little area. If price goes out of that area uh, and then comes right back into it. Uh, you know, you would lose your your uh, your data, and it's just a it's an insignificant move uh, to the outside, and then right back into the range. Okay. Well, if you have this conditional reset, you can um, uh, set it for a specific number of seconds or milliseconds. This is uh, you know 2.5 seconds, one second, or five seconds. If you get that quick move out and move back in, uh, then it it won't reset unless it goes over. Uh, is more than that that number here that you input. Okay, so it's a it's a nice feature. Uh, you can um, uh, then study your uh, uh, volume uh, within a specific area uh, without it being reset uh, when there's that quick uh, move to the outside, and then right back in. Look at the battle shaping up. Uh, you know, at this 87 and a half now, the, the, the aggressive buyers here. This is the same kind of activity we saw yesterday uh, with the um, uh, Smaller size here, but many um, uh, many events taking place, uh, and uh, we might get that that push right now uh, to the upside. Okay, so uh, it's kind of it's kind of balanced here on the other side though with some of the selling, but uh, let's uh, let's see if we get the sweep of the book. Right, they are not trying to sweep the book here uh, by using this method. Okay, that's the distinction here. They are accumulating a long position with market buy orders without moving price against them. All right, very very uh, unique to see this in Bookmap. You won't be able to see it in uh, uh, footprint charts or other platforms because uh, they'll just aggregate this and lump it into one big sum of volume. Okay, instead now we know what's going on here. Look at the algorithmic activity. This is exactly what we saw yesterday. Okay, same thing. We can see it here uh, as well. And uh, well, it, it led to the breakout. All right, so in seconds before talking about it, we mentioned it, we mentioned it yesterday. Uh, and you can see, uh, I mean, it's nice to see uh, uh, result immediately. Uh, yesterday we ended the webinar before, uh, but uh, I did point that out uh, to you guys. All right, okay. Uh, so, uh, you know, I'm always getting questions about, um, you know, how, how to use Bookmap. Uh, you know, what what are some of the ways to use it? Well, you know, 
if you're looking for that breakout and you start to notice this kind of information, uh, this gives you good insight. Okay, this is one of the ways that you can use it. All right, so uh, you know, uh, go back, back test it, study it, look for these things, uh, understand this phenomena. You become an expert in it, uh, and then you'll be able to uh, uh, take advantage of these kinds of moves right here. Okay, right up into our 89 area, uh, and uh, let's see how that uh, that traded. Wow. Okay. Well, it looks like these guys stayed in the book. They meant business, right? This is a this is another important point. Okay. They they meant business because look at we're trading into their high liquidity here, and the aggressive buying is taking their liquidity off of the offer, right? And then we see one big push here with an aggressive uh, uh, buy, uh, sweeping the book higher outside of that high level of liquidity at 89. They take all of the contracts and price goes up a few ticks here, okay? All right, uh, let's see. Uh, did I cover all of the resetting for the columns? I think so. That's, that's basically it. Nice features though. Um, you know, another thing uh, for you guys, um, you know, we've got the, I've got it set as a volume profile here, as you can see. But a really nice feature for those of you looking at very specific things. Uh, you can split that out uh, into, because um, we have it. We already have the data here. We have the aggressor classification of the volume. So now you can see who's winning the battle uh, in specific areas. Uh, and, um, uh, you know, if you're looking for momentum, uh, a momentum kind of uh, aggressive sweeping here, uh, then you can, you can start to, uh, you, you'll see it here with, uh, you know, look at all the aggressive uh, buying here compared to the selling, okay? Very indicative of sweeping of the book here, all right? Okay, now let me go back to this reset. I think I have, uh, there's one more reset. Um, you, you can uh, uh, double click below a specific area uh, and uh, it will reset. Uh, actually, this isn't working quite right. Uh, it should just reset the, the offer on this side uh, or the aggressive sells and the aggressive buys on this side. But it's resetting both right now. All right. So anyway, uh, I think, let me see, did I conditional reset here? I, I left it checkmarked. Okay, that's why. All right. Okay. Um, and uh, let's go back here to uh, all our data from the trading session. All right. There we go. Okay. Interesting. Interesting to see this. This is, you know, we're getting insight here. Uh, you know, usually what we see is more bigger, you know, clusters of, um, I mean, this is kind of a cluster here, but um, they're disguising it. You, you know, we're, I'm, we're so accustomed to, at least I am accustomed to seeing it now in Bookmap with um, uh, these kinds of uh, big uh, aggressive dots here. Uh, you know they're 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 really hit uh, lifting the offer uh, hard in these areas. This is different, you know, and this is what they're doing here. And this is algorithmic activity that is uh, continuing to accumulate and getting a good price. If they came in here with very aggressive, uh, 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 you know, stance and just swept the book, they would start to sweep it up against themselves, right? Instead, they accumulated here and got a nice position on. Uh, at one price level, all right? So uh, interesting to see that. Uh, and um, uh, we've seen it before though, but we're seeing it again and again. And, and um, uh, that's, uh, that's nice to see. I mean, look at, look at here's, the, here's the distinction. Look at nice uh, flurry of activity here. And here is kind of spread out over some time. And we don't see the big volume uh, cluster, all right? Okay. Uh, all right, well, let's get into some of the resets that uh, Bruno, or the CVD uh, that Bruno is uh, asking, and uh, a few more questions here. Let's see. Yes, uh, Michael, it's on your computer time, or you can make it GMT as well. Okay, uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, all right, Seth. So you so you were in on that uh, on that yesterday and made a made a, a few points out of it. Uh, yeah, it was um, 
it, that was a that was a big move. I mean, it ran ran uh, eight to nine, right? That's uh, that's what you're saying. Um, and uh, uh, anyway, uh, you know, go back and um, study, find find those um, uh, uh, you know those areas, and uh, look for that. Uh, and uh, you know, then you can start to to put that into a trading strategy and uh, your own risk management. But Bookmap is the tool. It's it it's all here for you. Uh, and you know, it, we're not we're not a setup. We're not a uh, uh, an indicator or a derivative of price. We're just showing you exactly what's occurring in the market, uh, and and showing you uses of it. Uh, how to use some of these tools, and there are many, right? So, um, <laughs> uh, yeah, Seth, Seth is uh, uh, calling it a, a killer killer app here, and uh, 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 quite quite an invention. Uh, uh, so, uh, I don't know about better than uh, or since the wheel, but uh, yeah, it. We're just offering. I mean, you know, a lot of a lot of market transparency. I mean, look at this transparency. Uh, you know, I I, I love it, um, and. Um, uh, start to start to understand really what's going on here uh, in uh, uh, in the marketplace. Okay. Okay. Uh, Bruno's question. All right. Let's go over the um, CVD. I'll click on studies configuration. Now the CVD is cumulative volume delta. All right. It's uh, we'll find it here. Let's click on it. Uh, there are many new features in the cumulative volume delta in Bookmap. Okay, there's a zero line here that's showing up. Uh, and then um, let's go through one at a time here. Um, yeah, in fact, here, let me um, turn off the uh, 13 lot. Okay, so we can have multiple CVDs within the same subchart here. All right, now I'm just choosing one here uh, to begin with. And uh, this one here, uh, let's go through some of the settings here. Um, well, let me let me first describe what it does. Okay, it's a very simple um, indicator, uh, and um, uh, what it's doing is it's just a it it will um, take the accumulation uh, of volume uh, and just adds and subtracts uh, and then plots it onto the chart here. Okay, so it's not um, the, the the chart is uh, not a uh, uh, like uh, what's the difference? It's not like stochastics. That's a, you know a hundred percent or or uh, uh, you know minus a hundred. Um, it's um, uh, you're getting the the true output here of the volume, right? So um, when an aggressive market buy order occurs, let's say for two lots, well the CVD at that point would be two. Okay. And uh, let's say all of a sudden someone comes in with aggressive selling now uh, with um, uh, four lots. Okay, it will add that to it, and uh, the overall uh, reading for this, the cumulative volume delta would be negative two. And that's all it does, and it just it, and then it plots it with a zero line here, uh, and um, uh, and you can see it. It allows you to understand the aggressor. Uh, you know what what their stance is, uh, and there's many different ways to read it. Right, you can see the absorption uh, when we come into high liquidity uh, on the um, uh, you know on the bid or the offer. Uh, let's say on the bid here, and uh, we're looking for you know uh, lots of aggressive selling, CVD to go down, but price is going sideways because they're absorbing. They're not. They're not. Um, they're still. Uh, hitting the market sell button, but uh, someone's on the other side uh, taking all of that. Uh, you know, if you want to, you want to sell more aggressively. I want to, you know, uh, uh, buy more from you uh, with the limit orders, and um, and you'll see that, and then you start to look for divergences in that. So, for example, look at here. Uh, we see uh, lower slightly okay, it's not uh, you know too aggressive here um, but we're making lower lows in these areas here but look at the volume right the CBD is is showing higher lows not lower lows okay so we're seeing a divergence in that between price and the aggressor uh, in the volume okay that's a very traditional way of uh, of using it 
All right. Uh, there's other ways of using it too. Looking for uh, example, uh, maybe areas of um, exhaustion. Uh, you come up into an area, uh, and uh, and you see that uh, uh, CVD is uh, uh, you know not uh, uh, not very high, but price is uh, high. So let me see if we can find a good example of that. Um, yeah, this is a great one. I mean, uh, you, you see it all the time. I mean, like maybe up in this area here, and let's let's zoom into it. So this is in the beginning of the session. Okay. Well, since this is the beginning of the session, we're only going to read all of this. is is going to charge up into that area. Um, and we need we need more more uh, volume here. Um, Okay. Initial move down. Um, what we're looking for, uh, maybe maybe in uh, in this area here is isn't so bad. Um, uh, you know, we, we see we charge up here at the uh, nine thirty open, uh, and then uh, we we make actually a little higher high here. Um, but uh, uh, CVD does not. It's 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 showing a lower high, not much, but it is lower high here. Okay, so this this area here, and we can you can just see it right here. Look at look at the aggressive buying; they really dry up, right? And then look at they just jump on the other side here with aggressive selling, uh, and really pound the uh, the bid here, uh, and uh, and take price lower. Okay, so this is it's not the greatest example of the exhaustion, but uh, you can see it here as well. Okay, the other one uh, is the phenomena that we were just witnessing right in here. Okay, let's zoom into this area. Okay, accumulation. Okay, look at our CVD going up here, right? And um, uh, yeah, I mean, actually, uh, the price is going down, but CVD is kind of uh, it's kind of going sideways in here. Pretty successful little little ploy. Um, but then here, uh, you're starting to notice it uh, pick up, right? So it's at the same price level or even lower than previously, but the CVD is is climbing. That's showing this accumulation, right? Yeah, so that's another way to use it. So there's three distinct ways to use this. Okay. So let's go through some of the settings now. I'll click on this. Click on cumulative volume delta. Make sure it's selected. Okay. If it's not selected, it's not going to show. Uh, and um, uh, we'll go over use the same scale for all indicators in a minute. But you can uh, you can filter for it. Uh, using these here, and I'll go through that in a session in a in a second uh, with the 13 lot. Uh, the indicator range, okay. So I can um, have my CVD work for the range that's in my chart right now, visible, uh, or uh, I can have it from the beginning of the session, okay. And note the the distinction, right? Uh, the the CVD is a, actually it's quite a bit higher now. Right. So uh, instead, I'll have it for my chart range, and you can see that uh, that occur. Okay. So if I, it depends on my zoom. If I zoom in and out, I'm going to get different um, uh, different outputs. Okay. And then let's go over reference points here. So you can do resets uh, of your CVD, uh, and uh, I have it here set for 9:30 every day. Now you can you can input your time here, uh, and um, uh, you know have it reset every uh, 10 seconds uh, or never uh, if you want and let's go back to 930 okay and we'll zoom in here okay and uh, my, my CV, you can see my CVD reset right here Okay. Note the chart range gives me different readouts, but look at uh, how it zeroed right here. Boom. Okay. Not really any volume, but it, it, the CVE just reset to zero. Okay. So that's that's what occurred here. All right. Okay. So that's the reset. Now you can also reset uh, in different ways as well. Um, well, you can reset it right now, or you can add one. Right, and then this is where you input your your uh, time and your interval, right? And you can clear them as well. You can clear all of them. You can have multiple resets, or you can just um, 
uh, click on the trash uh, can icon here to get rid of one at a time if you want. All right. The last one here that we'll cover before getting into the filtering uh, is the um, we can split out the buy and sell um, uh, aggressor here. Right, and I, I made different colors for it. So uh, if I click on that, now both numbers are positive here, right? Otherwise, it would it just wouldn't you wouldn't uh, get the reference. So they're both positive here, even though seller CVD is is negative when it's combined and, and accumulated. Um, so we're, we're, we can see the aggressor here winning is the uh, the buyer, right? Uh, they're 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 showing more buy volume than uh, than sellers. And uh, you know uh, that uh, that gives us a, a little bit of a nice uh, uh, edge or insight and understanding that uh, yeah you know the uh, uh, sellers are or or buyers are still in uh, in charge here, okay? According to the CVD. Um, all right, so uh, let's uncheck that. Okay, now let's get into some of the settings here. Okay. Uh, filtering settings. Uh, you can filter your CVD for specific lot size um, or contract size here. Right. So, uh, for example, I've got it set right now with this uh, checked uh, for 13. So the minimum accountable volume size um, is 13. So anything at 13 and above, it will um, display uh, in my CVD. Okay, if it's below 13, it will filter it out. All right, and we can we can see here if you right if you click on the uh, little widget panel here, uh, and then you click on we'll click on the the CVD to show it in the chart here, uh, and to sh show it in the indicator um, uh, sub panel, and then you can show it here as well. Uh, click on this one, uh, and it will show you in the widget panel here. Okay. All right. So you can also uh, filter for uh, the maximum uh, that you want to show. So now, now I've got it set for 100, right? Um, so the uh, the minimum uh, uh, size is showing up to 13, and the maximum is up to 100. So let's say someone, I mean, this is kind of a crazy, uh, let's put in 20, right? Um, between 13 and 20. So anything that is... Um, uh, more than uh, than 20, uh, I don't want to show it. Okay, so I'm just looking for a specific volume within an area here. Right? Maybe that's a little too much. Okay, or maybe you want to look at your hundred lot. Let's take a look at that. Okay, any insight on that? Okay, or maybe we should make it 101. Um, okay, so. Anyway, I hope you guys understand that. It's, uh, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, you're just filtering out uh, the volume. And, uh, it, but that, what that allows you to do, the practical use of it, is now I can understand with this 13 lot CVD, I can understand the bigger players and how aggressive they are in this market. All right, Compared to all of the uh, players here, uh, all the little volume that trades as well. All right, so uh, uh, now I've got that uh, reference to it. And uh, there is another point to reference here, uh, and that is I can use the same uh, scale here. You need to check this box here, right? If I don't have it checked, you can see there's different uh, uh, y-axis here, okay? One here for 5,000 for the, for the larger trader, uh, and then the other one is 10,000 for the uh, smaller trader. I don't have reference between the two unless I have this checked. Okay, now I have it, and you can see the distinction between the two. All right, okay, I think that covers all of the CVD um, chart range. Yep, we, we went through it all here. Okay, all right. Okay, I haven't seen any follow through yet, but they're starting to build out the, uh, the bid, and where are they building it out from? Where we broke here, okay? We're going to come down and test these guys, but they're starting to already pull uh, a little bit and then add in at lower levels, right? So we need to we need to come down a little closer here and see the intent. But uh, we can see that uh, uh, it's not the most uh, bullish uh, uh, skew at the moment here in the book. Okay, but it, it lines up with exactly many of the strategies we've been covering, or 
many of the uh, reading some of the uh, uh, market phenomena and then understanding that uh, yeah I'm looking maybe a strategy you want to employ is looking for a pullback to where it broke uh, and then reading the liquidity here uh, in the bid uh, on the bid to understand if you want to uh, maybe front run some of this or maybe uh, you know set your your order limit orders maybe a little bit lower okay so that's that's how you can start to practically uh, use uh, some of the uh, the data here right so uh, if uh, let's say you want to scale into this position you're still bullish right uh, well that would be uh, this would be a good area then okay all right, so uh, let's go over the um, uh, replay mode, and I'll, I'll input um, a few of the. Uh, uh, I'm going to lose all my data, but that's o that's okay. All right, so uh, we'll save and, and exit. Uh, and um, oh, I'm sorry. There's a few more questions here. Um, whoops. Uh, Grace, uh, yeah, you will need to um, uh, adjust your um, uh, contrast configurations uh, based on your zoom, uh, and uh, and the dot size is is it. I, I can quickly show that to you. Let's uh, let's jump in here and uh, open up replay mode. Uh, Andrew, I don't think we don't have enough time to go over the um, uh, iceberg, the new iceberg. Um, I'll, I'll show it to you guys, uh, but uh, it's 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 great. I really like this tool. Uh, fantastic uh, to see. Yeah, actually, um, you know what? Next week um, uh, I am away, so uh, there will be no webinars next week. Uh, but um, we've you know we've been all all last couple of weeks we've been covering. Uh, iceberg. We, we've covered all the new features in in detail, right? So um, uh, you guys can, uh, yeah. Thank you. Um, I'll enjoy it. Um, uh, you you guys can uh, review some of those uh, recorded webinars to find uh, maybe some of the uh, information you're looking for. Okay. So let's open up Bookmap here now. We'll choose Replay Mode. This is going to be the same also for Ninja Ninja users, and uh, we'll click OK. And uh, let's go full screen here. And now it's, it's prompting me to select a file. So let's click on load a file. Okay. And uh, let's click on today's. Here it is at the top. And let's open it. Okay. And here we go. All right. And uh, you can see my configurations are a little different here. Uh, we've got the candlesticks on here. I've got the iceberg on this one as well. So um, uh, you can see where those are taking place. And uh, looks like CV I got my CVDs a little little different as well. All right. So um, uh, anyway, um, let's see. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. That's because I'm looking at the 6E. Let's go back to our um, ES. That's why. There we go. Okay, so now I have the same settings as I had before, right? Okay, now this is a, a great feature here uh, because you don't have to sit around and wait for, uh, if you want to uh, practice your trading, and you can open up your trade control panel, uh, and you can trade right from the chart here. Uh, and what, what's so great about it, though, is you can, you can speed up the market. So you don't have to sit around and wait for these things to unfold. So, you know, you can start to set your orders in specific areas. Uh, and, um, uh, you know, if you're looking for, um, uh, let's go over, for example, uh, that um, uh, return back to where we broke from. Uh, you know, that, that strategy. Well, uh, look for it, right? And, um, and then start to uh, uh, trade around it uh, and start to understand what's um, uh, uh, going on there. You can speed up these markets. You can also... Uh, click and and just go ahead in the timeline up here uh, to to uh, uh, specific areas. Okay, uh, and this is a this is a great feature uh, to to really allow you to um, uh, uh, see where your orders got filled. And it looks like 
I clicked ahead and it filled all of mine. Um, but um, uh, anyway, um, uh, so yeah, I mean, you can, um, uh, you know, just become an expert in uh, seeing that phenomena again and again. Here, here's that phenomena right here. So let's let's put some orders right in that area here, right? Go, going back to where we broke from right here, and I see high liquidity in here, right, coming into the market. Okay, so uh, you can start to test this. Now, where would the first stop be? Well, I'm looking at this swing down here. Maybe scale out uh, one one contract there, right? Uh, and um, uh, and then move another one down below. Uh, you can use bracketed orders, OCO orders, trailing stop, uh, etc. Okay, and uh, probably um, I know that's a quick uh, uh, review of the uh, uh, replay mode, but this is a very very powerful feature. And this is this is how I uh, learned Bookmap, right? Going over it again and again and understanding this phenomena, uh, and um, I found it uh, uh, to expedite my uh, my learning curve uh, quite a bit all right if you don't like it uh, just you can pause it here you can slow it down uh, if it's going too quickly or you can uh, click here and, and go back and forth in time very quickly all right okay uh, let's see here uh, a few more questions Okay, um, Grace, I'll go through it quickly for you. Uh, contrast configurations, okay, this, these are important tools uh, in Bookmap. Uh, we want to get insight uh, for your trading style, right? What, um, uh, what is the best way uh, to um, uh, see the liquidity and, and use it for yourself? Well, some, I'll, I'll tell you, some traders like to look at it like this, you know, really bright using a, a low black cutoff. Uh, I've seen other traders and um, I just used very, very extreme levels here. You know, I mean, they're looking at something like this. Uh, and, um, uh, you know, it just just very, very uh, uh, extreme readings. And, uh, and that's all they want to know. Uh, and uh, just to see where the, the majority of those uh, participants are. So it's up to you. Uh, I'll, what works for me uh, is to uh, get a little, I want to see some of that algorithmic activity, right? Um, but um, I don't want to see too much, uh, but I want to see some of it. So um, I, I like something um, like this. I mean, this gives me pretty good good clarity uh, in the market, all right? Now, if I zoom in, the, the heat map's going to change. It's because now the information is being calculated here uh, by the relativity of the large liquidity uh, in this view. So you'll just have to come up here and tweak it really quickly, right? For me, it just takes a little tweak of either the white or black cutoff, to be honest, and I'm I'm good to go. Just a few seconds, uh, and um, and then that's that. Okay. Okay, that's how you've been using it as well, Grace. Great, sounds good. Okay, well I'll leave you guys with one uh, one more um, uh, nugget here. Uh, which is that this new iceberg detector? This I really like this tool a lot. Uh, let's enable it and uh, and show it here. You can also enable alerts for it and filter for specific icebergs. Um, but this adds a lot of insight. Uh, I like to see uh, where the icebergs are uh, getting filled. The majority of them. Uh, who who's winning the battle? Uh, and uh, starting to understand uh, some of these. Uh, uh, these areas uh, that uh, uh, maybe they pull liquidity and we see a lot of volume trade, right? Well, that might be that's going to be captured here with the iceberg detector, uh, and uh, you're going to you're going to notice uh, where uh, larger players are using the hidden order type to um, uh, not show their hand uh, in the limit order book. They don't want to show their orders in the limit order book. Okay, so uh, they'll use uh, icebergs instead. And uh, you can see there are many uh, all over the place. Okay, so it basically, it's what's showing is liquidity that traded that wasn't displayed in the limit order book, and that's what it's 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 really showing. All right, all right, guys. Well, let's end it up. Uh, and uh, ah, one more thing, um, I will get uh, give you these um, these two videos for 
the um, just a minute here it's under features features and components okay okay under here all right um, let's see where is it uh, replay mode okay so here's here's one on the replay data and then the, here's one on the practical uses all right uh, so um, let me put this into the chat here there you go and here is the practical uses uh, video uh, as well for replay mode okay it goes into a little more depth than I just did uh, but uh, hope you find those uh, those helpful okay Okay. All right, guys. Yeah, have a good weekend, and uh, we will uh, miss you next week. No webinars next week. Uh, I will uh, put a link on the website, um, uh, but uh, it will be uh, for the following week, okay? So you can register for the following week, uh, not next week, okay? All right, guys. Yeah, have, have a good weekend. Bye-bye.